Okay, this one is for the mayor of the city of Chicago and the dumb governor of the state of Illinois. He's an idiot too. And the people thought Pat Quinn was bad. And I said this in other videos. But he's been in office and he has not uh, let a budget pass through yet. He cut all these programs. And you really have not seen a change in the state of Illinois. There is more killing here. Um, they raise property tax. You got bag tax, you got water tax, you got garbage tax. Uh, now I understand that there is a tax for the gas. Um, so you have all these taxes. So the question is who's stealing? And where is all this money going? So you got all these, these movies that's being made in uh, the city and the state. You have tolls that runs up to $5 a toll. Um, you have lottery that's supposed to be helpful to the schools, and it's not. But seems to be your salaries goes up. You know, you agree to your salary, but you want to nickel and dime the minimum wage. You want to nickel and dime everything that the people need, that they really, really need. You want to nickel and dime that. Um, so number 45 told Rahm Emanuel that he would send the federal government in to clean up Chicago for the crime. Okay, now I'm going to keep talking while I'm plugging up my, my, my uh, thing because my battery is getting low on my, uh, my laptop. So he says to number 45, if he can do a better job um, with cleaning up the city, then go ahead and send the feds in. So then that makes me think. That you really don't want to clean up anyway. You have ulterior motives. Maybe you thought that by you being the mayor of Chicago, they would strengthen you to go up the ladder further in the political realm. But if you can't fix a city, then you don't need to be over anything else. Now, your pockets are full, and you and your council, which is the ultimates of the various wards, have sit there and you have dug deep into the citizens' pockets of the city, which makes it more difficult for them to survive, especially when these companies don't pay money like they should to their employees. So you got all this crime, all this killing, and nothing has stopped. Nothing has slowed down. And so you tell number 45 to send the federal government in, but you're the mayor of Chicago. You change the independent police board to make it people that you appoint to the police board. And you can't cease it. You all can stop what you want to stop. You really can. But we, as constituents, have to put the iron in the fire. And then we need to start branding some people. Every alderman, every state representative, every mayor. And the governor, we need to pull their sell you out card and let people know. And then election time is coming up. We need to make sure that they leave. But you know what? Most of all, we need to do. And if there is a way it can be done, we need to legally across the board put in stipulations that nobody can hire their relatives. We should be able to penalize them for dumb decisions that they make and they trickle it back down and make us pay for it financially. That's what we should do. But I'm saying, keep a report card on your elected officials. And you need to start pulling Ron card. And I see that Kennedy is running against Ronna. He don't need to get back in. Hell, Rahm Emanuel didn't need to get back in. But he don't need to never hold another seat in nobody's office doing anything. Period. He didn't robbed the city of Chicago enough. And he has not done his job. He's broken all his promises. Point blank and period. And we can't afford it. Our city is crumbling at a slow pace. People are struggling and nobody cares. You know whose pocket's getting full? The elected officials. And you know who's suffering the cost of what they do behind closed doors? 
we do. Think about it.